Hello people of the internet, my name is The Game Warrior, and today we are going to be discussing some newer details that lead us to believe that the Xbox and Microsoft ownership of DLC exclusivity for Call of Duty, meaning their ability to have DLC a month before both PC and PlayStation, is coming to an end. For those of you that watch my channel, exactly one month ago on May 4th, I posted a video called Call of Duty vs. Xbox, discussing all of the reasons why it appeared as if Xbox was no longer in such a close relationship with Call of Duty, and why this year with Black Ops 3, the DLC deal may be in jeopardy. In that video, I detailed statements from the head of Xbox, from the head of multiplayer design and development at Treyarch, and various sources from both Xbox and PlayStation magazines, their YouTube channel, and Call of Duty's own official website. So if you were interested in seeing all I had to say, then an annotation will be placed on your screen now and at the end of the video to go and see all of that information. But today we are discussing something a little new that was brought to my attention. Recently while browsing the UK Xbox One games page, one Reddit user mentioned how on a crawl in the site, Xbox detailed various major releases coming out this year. Some games such as Halo 5 and Fable are exclusive to the Xbox One, and they had the exclusive game marked on the site. And one game in particular, Tom Clancy's The Division, had a tag on it saying content first, because Xbox One owners will have access to the DLC content for Tom Clancy's The Division before both PlayStation and PC. And in this same crawl, you can see Black Ops 3 listed. However, Black Ops 3 does not have a similar tag saying content first, which is a little odd. If you have noticed, Xbox loves to showcase when things are going their way. Anytime Xbox has something that another console or the PC fails to have, they love to shout it out. Think of first party games that Xbox loves to showcase, including Halo. They have something that PlayStation 4 doesn't have, and they put a label right over top of the game saying so. In fact, when you go to the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare page on Xbox One site, they make the fact that all add-on content is available first on Xbox Live. However, the same cannot be said about Black Ops 3, for on the Black Ops 3 page on the Xbox site, there is no mention of DLC exclusivity anywhere on the page. And looking at how Xbox operates, if they did have DLC exclusivity, they would be showcasing it. So, not having anything marked on this page or on the UK site leads me to believe that at this point in time, they do not have DLC rights. Now, as I have said numerous times concerning every rumor that has came out about Black Ops 3 or any Call of Duty in particular, until Treyarch, Activision, Xbox, or Sony come out and say something officially, then nothing is confirmed. We might head into E3 and be told that the Call of Duty and Xbox bond is stronger than ever before, that DLC exclusivity is staying exactly where it is, or we may head into E3 and hear that PS4 will get DLC first or the DLC exclusivity deal might expire altogether, and all devices will be able to play it at the same time. As of now, we simply do not know what is going to happen, but it is worth paying attention to all of the signs that are coming out that lead many to believe, including myself, that the Call of Duty Xbox relationship is coming to an end. And guys, that is going to be it for me here today. If you did enjoy this video or found any of it enjoyable or informative, then please do click on that like button right now. The more likes this video gets, the greater the chance that YouTube sends out my video for everyone to see that is subscribed to my channel. So do take a second out of your day and click like right now. I truly appreciate that. Also on your screen right now, you can feel free to view any other videos that I have up on my channel right now, including the video I made a month ago detailing all of the other reasons why Xbox and Call of Duty may no longer be getting along. Thank you all for watching today. My name is Game Warrior. Be sure you comment, rate, and subscribe, but most importantly, have a good day.